Hi, I'm Mr. E-Tutor, your mystery tutor here at mysterytutor.com, and welcome to video module 4-1. In this series of modules, we'll be discussing the reading comprehension questions on the SAT. In series 3, we already saw how the SAT essay requires a completely different approach from the essays that you would write in high school. And in this series of modules, we'll see the same thing is true for the reading comprehension questions. The type of subjective, interpretive reading that gets you a high grade in a high school English class will be punished mercilessly by the SAT's reading comprehension questions. In order to do well on reading comprehension on the SAT, we have to understand from the very beginning that all subjectivity, all interpretation, anything along those lines has to be cut out completely from your approach to the test. In order to do well on the SAT reading comprehension, you have to read the passage, the questions, and every question choice in a simple, superficial, shallow type of way. Again, this is exactly the opposite from the type of reading that you'd want to do in high school English class. Once you learn to apply this reading approach, you won't believe how simple and easy these questions can be. You're going to find them to be incredibly repetitive, incredibly mechanical, and honestly, a little bit insulting to your intelligence once you know the right way to approach them. And when you do know how to approach them, you'll have a hard time believing that you ever missed these questions before. Now, I know that might seem hard to believe, I know right now in the back of your head, you can probably think of a handful of real SAT questions you've seen, and you don't think my method would work on any of those questions. Well, give me a chance. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about, and we'll use some real examples from actual SAT questions. So remember, the tutors and classes and books out there that tell you you should get ready for SAT reading by learning to take notes on things and read the passages for tone and symbols and motifs and everything else, all of those sources are completely 100% incorrect. That is not the best way to do well on reading comprehension for the SAT. So let me close with this thought again. Reading comprehension on the SAT is not similar in any way whatsoever to the reading skills you use in high school. It can't be. Any reading comprehension test that's standardized and multiple choice like the SAT has to do things very differently. And in the coming modules, we'll see exactly what I mean when I say that. But for now, just remember, it's easier than you think.